Hey guys, welcome to PatternLab.London. I'm Ralph and today I'm going to show you how to create a full circle and semicircle skater dress addition to your, let's say, made to measure stretch dress block. Before we get started in this tutorial, I just want to show you a little bit about our digital blocks. So let's just head on over to PatternLab.London. So on the Pattern PatternLab.London homepage, you will find a whole list of some of the blocks that we actually uh, showcase. And as you can see here, we have the made to measure basic stretch, stretch dress block which you can obviously customize. If you go to profiles, you can create a profile, add 27 of your unique measurements, and then obviously start, obviously start drafting that block by clicking this button within the lab. And we have a whole bunch of different additions you can add to this. So fabric, you can basically input the stretch ratio of your material to give you a perfect fit when it comes to your fabric and your measurements. We have fit as well. You can either add custom eases or you can add the automatic fit and let us do all the hard work. You can also add different bust, well, you can add a bust start or leave it blank. We also have different lengths to choose from, different necklines, and also different sleeve lengths. And once again, you can purchase these blocks either as a PDF or as an Adobe Illustrator or SVG file. We're working with the SVG or AI files because they're fully editable, whereas these are the paper versions which you can then print at home and paper cut manually. So once again, choose your profile here or you can choose from one of our standard size ranges as well, which is really helpful. Not only that, but we also have um, another site called designlab.london. And this basically uh, allows you to download fully graded, fully nested standard size blocks. So here we have the basic stretch dress with a 50% stretch ratio, 35% stretch and 20% stretch ratio. And these are all fully nested and based on our standard sizes. You can click on the standard size guide to see how they apply, apply to your measurements. Also, if you're not familiar with digital pattern cutting in Adobe Illustrator and you want to find out more, just simply go to the courses page on the Pattern Lab website and go to Pattern Making Course. In here, you'll find all the information you need. We also have a whole bunch of free courses that show you how to set up your workspace in Adobe Illustrator. We also have things like um, adding seam allowance and also transforming your finished pattern into multi-page PDF sewing patterns. And it's all completely free. We have some testimonials. And also, if you go a little bit further down the page, you can see that we have a whole bunch of tutorials like this one that show you how to transform your blocks with different necklines, uh, different dress styles, for example, and also different sleeves. So take a look at those. Okay, but let's carry on with our tutorial. So once again, we're going to be transforming the basic stretch dress into this lovely full circle, sorry, the semicircle and the full circle skirt options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply, once, this, once again, I've mentioned that I downloaded Francesca's block which we built in Pattern Lab. We created a made to measure block to fit her. I'm just gonna open that up in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm just gonna simply gonna click and drag and then drop it into Adobe Illustrator. Once again, this is the E pattern or the SVG pattern, not the PDF pattern. What I'm gonna do is I'm simply just going to get my big selection tool. So once again, if you're not familiar with Adobe Illustrator, just check out our pattern making tutorials. A lot of the tools that I run through in this tutorial will be displayed uh, and we'll show you how to use those tools in that course. And once again, it's completely free. So I'm my big selection tool. I'm gonna to click and drag over, let's say just these two patterns. I'm not gonna actually focus on the sleeve in this tutorial. I'm just gonna work on the actual body blocks. So big section tool, click and drag. I'm gonna edit, copy, I'm going to go to my stretch dress page. Let's just get rid of this content because we want to create a new one. I'm just going to paste that in. Fantastic. Okay, so let's focus on these dress box. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I don't need any of this information down the bottom here. I just want the upper part of this block. So at the waistline, also there's a few tools to mention. So if I hold down the, sh the space key on my keyboard, you'll see we get a little hand. I can then click and drag and move around my page, which is really useful when it comes to navigating around your pattern. Also, if you hit Command plus on your keyboard a few times, you can zoom in and Command minus to zoom out. So these two tools combined, it allows you to move around the page really easily, which is great. Anyway, let's zoom in. So I'm gonna get my small section tool. I'm gonna to click on the outline of, let's say my, the front of this stretch dress block. I'm gonna use the scissor tool and I'm just gonna snip at that point and snip at the waistline at that point as well. I'm gonna do the same for the back, small selection tool, click, Go to the scissor tool, click, snip, and then snip. Let's get our small selection tool. I'm gonna to zoom out, and I'm gonna pretty much drag over the whole lower part of these two blocks. And I'm just gonna hit backspace a few times on my keyboard. And as you can see, they will just disappear. Let's also remove the waistline and that little, the waistline text and the guideline. Hit backspace a few times, same here, backspace. Also, let's just get rid of these points, which are meant to be notches, let's get rid of those. And here we have our, um, let's say, the two upper torsos, which is how we're gonna add these skater dress panels to. 
So um, first of all, <clears throat> we're going to remove this little bit of waist shaping here. So I'm going to get my small selection tool. <clears throat> I'm going to click on that point. I'm going to go to my convert anchor point tool. I'm just going to click and then click, and that will basically remove that shaping. I'm going to get my big selection tool, click on this block. I'm going to take this little point here, click and drag it over to its corresponding side on the front panel. I'm then going to, with this block selected, with the back block selected, get my rotation tool, click, and then going to just swing that around to rotate it around that point until the two side seams match up. It's looking great. Next, I'm going to get my pen tool. I'm just going to click on this point. Actually, first of all, I'm going to lock my selection so I don't actually edit it. Get my big selection tool, click and drag, object, lock, selection. Next, get my pen tool. I'm going to click at this point. Oops, hang on. Let's zoom in, make it a bit easier. Click at this point, this point, and this point. <coughs> Excuse me. Next, I'm going to take my small selection tool. I'm going to click at this point here, and you can see you get this little dial just below. What that does is that allows you to smooth the line, which is really handy when it comes to waist shaping. So I'm just going to minus zoom out a little bit. So command minus on your keyboard to zoom out. I'm going to find that little point. I'm just going to drag that down so we have a nice smooth curve over that new waistline. Fantastic. I'm then going to get my line tool. Let's zoom in. I'm going to click and drag and just extend through that line. I'm going to get my small section tool. I'm going to click on the line we originally drew, get my scissor tool, and I'm going to snip at this point. So we're just using that guideline. We're just using that extended line as a guideline. So now we have two separate pieces, which is great, but I now I need to join my side seam to these pieces and then release the blocks. So first of all, let's just go to object, sorry, edit. And then we're going to go to, wait, hang on a minute. Object, unlock all, okay? And that's just going to unlock that block. Going to get my small selection tool, click and drag over those two points, and then move it down until it intersects. You see how it locks? It just intersects to where that snip line was. Great stuff. Let's zoom out. Going to get my small selection tool, click and drag over this corner, right click, and then join. Same with this one, click and drag over that corner, right click, and then join. Let's go to Pathfinder, which is over here on the right. You can also find that in Window, and then Pathfinder. And we're just going to unite. Same with this one, click and drag over the outline of this block, just the outline, and then click unite. And that just basically makes sure that that point is joined as well. Let's zoom out. Okay, I'm gonna get my big selection tool. In fact, no, I'm gonna get my line tool. I'm gonna to click on this top point here. I'm gonna draw a line down, hold down the shift key, and that will lock it to the vertical, which is really handy. Next, let's get our big selection tool. I'm going to click on this whole block here. As you can see, it's not grouped with the rest of the items. They're all separate now, which is a problem. So I just want to make sure I'm just going to get my big section tool, click and drag of that whole pattern piece there and go object and then group. So let's do the same for the front as well, just to be sure. Object and then group. Next, big section tool. I'm going to grab this pattern here. I'm going to go to my rotation tool, click, and I'm going to rotate until that line is parallel with the vertical. Let's then remove that existing line. So big section tool, click and delete. And let's just simply move that up to here. So they're nice and even, that's great. Let's just move it over a little bit. Okay, so now what I need to do is find out the width of half my waistline. So if you imagine this is half the front, this is half the back. So what I'm gonna do is get my small section tool. I'm gonna get my scissor tool and I'm gonna snip, snip, snip and snip. To be fair, I probably could have measured that before before I joined them, but this is how we do it. Okay, so I'm going to get my small section tool. I'm going to click on this line. I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard and then click on this line. That allows you to queue up selections. If I were to just click and then click, you see we're not queuing up. So if I hold down the shift key, click, and it adds to that selection. We're then going to go to document info, which is over here on the right, or you can go to window and then document info. And what we're going to do is in this little burger menu just on the right here, just click, make sure it's on objects. So just go objects. And you see it is 34.4. So that's simply measuring the distance of those two lines combined. Whatever you've selected, it will measure it here for you. So 34.4 centimeters. Let's just write that. I'll go to my text tool, 34.4 cm. So I know half my waist is 34.4 cm, which means twice my waist is gonna be 34.4 times two is 68.8. So 68.8 cm is the entirety of my waistline or Francesca's waistline. Now that might seem a little bit too small or it might seem quite small to you, but essentially this is a stretch dress block, which means it has negative ease. In other words, we've reduced the size of the block. Um, so when you have a stretchy fabric, it fits on the body and it maps the body. So that's why that is slightly smaller. 
Okay, so if we have a total waist measurement of 68.8 centimeters, which is essentially the circumference. If we do the semicircle skirt first, the circumference of our skirt is gonna to have to be 68.8. But when it comes to the semicircle, we have this little formula here. So instead of me explaining it, this is simply the formula we're gonna use when it comes to creating the semicircle. So I'm gonna go, where's my calculator? Here we go. So I'm gonna take the circumference, which is 68.8. So 68.8, I'm gonna times it by two, and I'm then gonna divide it by 3.14 or pi. Oh, hang on. Let's do that again, because I got 31.4. So it's 68.8 times two. And then, what is going on? 68.8 times two, that's better, divided by 3.14, which gives us a diameter of 43.8 centimeters. Okay, really important. So let's just put that in here. 43.8 cm is the diameter of the circle that we're gonna have to create in order to make a semicircle skirt that fits this waistline. So let's just go, let's just make sure our, so if you click on this box here and double click, this is the fill. We don't want a fill. So let's just remove that by clicking that little icon. We want a line fill. We can make it yellow, blue, whatever color you want to make it, but let's go for black. I'm gonna click okay. Next, let's go to our ellipse tool. And I'm just simply going to hold down the shift and option key on my keyboard or shift and alt key if you're a PC user. I'm just gonna click and it'll bring up this little dialog box. It'll say, right, what is the width and height of this circle or this ellipse? As we know, the diameter needs to be 43.8 centimeters. So I'm going to go 43.8, 43.8. So the width and height is going to be 43.8. Click OK. And this is our circle. Now at the moment, that's quite large. Let's measure it. So I'm going to click and I'm just going to get my scissor tool. I'm going to snip just here. And what that does is that allows us to see what the distance of this line is from this point to this point. That is 137.6, so it's way too large. It's actually twice this amount, but this is good because essentially what we want to do is snip here and here and then remove the top panel. So this should now be 68.8, which it is. It's out by maybe 0.1 of a millimeter, but I'm fine with that. Okay, let's just make this slightly darker. So I'm gonna hold down, I'm gonna hit my small selection tool, click and drag, go to my stroke, let's make it two. Now I want to decide what length of dress or skirt I want to create. And I'm just going to go to my lips tool. I'm going to hold down the shift key and just click and drag a little circle to make a point. I think my big section tool, click on the center and just drag it until it meets the tip of that circle. And then let's go copy and paste a new one in. Move that over to the opposite side as well. Okay, so let's make this skirt a little mini sort of like skater length. So it's going to be just sort of like mid thigh length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my big section tool. I'm going to click on that point and then going to hit the enter key on my keyboard. And as you can hear, see here, you have a move dialog box. Now we want to move horizontally to the left and to move horizontally to the left, we're going to go minus. It's always minus to the left and it's positive. It's a positive number to go to the right. And I'm going to go 40 centimeters. Vertically, I'm going to go zero. So we're just moving to the left and I'm going to hit copy. So that is now, let's just check. I'm going to get my line tool. That is now, 40 centimeters, perfect. So 40 centimeter length on this side, and because it's a semicircle, we're gonna do the same on the opposite side. So 40 centimeters, and this time it's a positive, because we're not going to the left, we're going to the right. Hit copy, and that is essentially our semicircle skirt, but we need to add a hem to this, otherwise we need another circle here. And to do that, we need to find the diameter of that circle, and this is really easy. I'm gonna get my line tool, I'm gonna to click in the center of that point, drag it out to the center of the opposite point, and you see the little gray box, it says 123.8 centimeters. That's gonna be the diameter of my circle. So let's get rid of that line. Let's go back to my ellipse tool. Okay, you know what? I've forgotten what that measurement was, hang on. 123.8, so let's go to my circle tool. I'm gonna to hold down, um, where is it? I'm gonna try and find the center of this existing half circle. I'm gonna hold down the shift and option key on my keyboard and click. I'm gonna put in 123.8. 1, 2, 3.8 for the height and width and click OK. And because you held down shift and option, it basically presents that circle in the center, which is really handy. And let's just make sure it's in the right location. You can nudge this circle around with the arrow keys on your keyboard, but that's pretty good. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna get my small selection tool. I'm gonna to click on this circle. I'm gonna snip it here and here. <clears throat> get my small selection tool, click and delete. Great, so that is essentially my semicircle skirt. I'm just gonna remove these points. So with my big selection tool, I'm gonna to click and drag and then just hit backspace a few times. I'm gonna get my pen tool. 
I'm just going to click from this point to this point just to join those click from here to here so that's my complete semicircle skirt so let's add a little bit of text just to highlight that it is a semicircle and demonstrate how we're going to cut this on fabric so I'm going to go to my text tool just going to click anywhere and type here center back I'm going to place that just here I'm going to copy and paste another one in I'm going to place that one here as well so essentially when this skirt is sewn up these two lines will connect and that will form the center back therefore if this circle here is 68.8 and this is 68.8 I mean times that by 2 is 68.8 then this will fit this bodice which is great and let's also find the center so let's get our line tool let's just find the center here there we go let's click and drag hold down the shift key to lock it to the vertical click and drag and then release and that will now be our center front line and then we can just get our big section tool if you click on that you get these little arrows either side or around the outside you can just click and drag if you hold down the shift key it'll lock to the horizontal vertical and diagonal axes axis axis axes and let's just simply click and drag that over to the front there so now we have center back center front center back perfect and our side seam will be roughly about here and here okay so let's now just get our big section tool I just want to click and drag over all of this and go object and then where is it group and that just means that when we move it around the whole thing moves together which is great next I'm going to get my small section tool I'm going to add some seam allowance to this so let's just go snip so I'm going to cut actually no let's not cut let's go to get my small section tool click on the outline of the pattern go to object path offset path and here we can type in 0.7 for example um, I'm using 0.7 centimeters because that's the, the, the it's the width that my serge or overlocker will stitch so 0.7 click OK and as you can see we have that seam allowance added to our pattern let's just go okay so small selection tool you can also click on the stroke options here you can make it one point or two points I like to keep the outline of my pattern two points and the inside so this is the cut line this would be the pattern line I like to make that one point and the outside two and that way you can distinguish between the two okay so that's pretty much it for our semicircle skirt I'm just going to add some text here as well this is really important so let's go what is it stretch dress uh, semicircle skater dress panel and then we're going to go cut times oneself we only need one of these there we go and also we need a grain line for this so actually on our pattern I haven't transferred it across because we removed it actually in when we deleted the bottom part so I've just gone back to my original pattern here I'm just going to get my small selection tool I'm going to click and drag over all of this I'm also going to hold down the shift and option key and just drag over that line to get rid of it I'm going to copy that and I'm then going to go back to my document and I'm just going to control V to paste let's just chuck that in here just because it has as you can see crosswise stretch 35 and lengthwise stretch 35 which is what this block was actually drafted with so we draft it for a 35% stretch fabric and here let's just put that in there so here we're going to have semicircle skater dress panel cut times one self let's make that there we go and we just place that back into the middle it's probably a little bit too large that font so I'm just going to reduce the font up here there we go that's better great we can get rid of this we don't need that anymore and I'm just going to big section tool click and drag over all of this and then go object and then group just to make sure it's all one item that's great and we can just increase the size of this if we want to okay so that's pretty much our semicircle skirt created which is looking fab let's now work on our full circle skirt which is slightly different so once again we have a waist which is 68.8 centimeters so we want to create a pattern which will fit that but a full circle skirt pattern so we have this simple formula here so it's the diameter equals the circumference divided by 3.14 so this time we're not timesing the circumference by two we're just using it as it is so if we go to our calculator we're going to go 68.8 divided by 3.14 which is pi which gives us 21.9 so we know that we need a diameter of 21.9 cm so let's do it I'm going to just get my so if we just click on this sorry so let's just go to our stroke color let's just make sure this is black click OK I'm then going to go to my ellipse tool I'm then going to 
hold down shift and option on my keyboard and just click. And here we're gonna put 21.9, 21.9 for the width and height, click OK. And that is now our full circle skirt or the waistline anyway. So if I now click this and I go to my scissor tool and I snip this top bit, click. Let's go to the document info. You can see it's 68.8. .8, so the entirety of that is 68.8 .8 centimeters, which is brilliant. So next what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna get my small selection tool or even big selection tool. I'm gonna to go to the cut tool. I'm just gonna snip and snip. Get my small selection tool, click and drag over the top panels and just backspace to delete. Let's also, so with this selected, just go to the stroke width. Let's go make it two just to make it a bit thicker so you can see what we're doing. Once again, I'm going to create a little circle or a little point to do that. Just go to your ellipse tool and you can just click and drag. Hold down the shift key to constrain its proportion. So this would be unconstrained. Hold down the shift key constrains it. So let's just make it a little small point. Go to my big section tool, click and drag that point. Copy and paste a new one in. Click and drag that point. And now we're going to make this skirt. Let's say it's going to be, let's make it pretty massive. Let's make it 70 centimeters. So from the waist down to the hem of this dress, it's going to be 70 centimeters. It's going to be quite big. So with this little point selected, I'm going to hit the enter key and I'm going to go minus 70. So if we're moving to the left, we're going minus. And then for the vertical, zero. Let's hit copy. As you can see, it is all the way over here. So it's pretty big. In fact, you know what? Just to save space, I'm not going to make it 70. I'm going to make it 40 like the semicircle. So big section tool, click on that point, hit the enter key, minus 40 to move left, hit copy, do the same on the right. Just get my big section tool, click, enter key, 40. We're going positive, so we're going to the right, click copy. Great. Okay, so let's start joining these up. Just going to get my pen tool. I'm going to click from here to here. Pen tool, click from here to here. Okay, so we now need to make the hem of this dress. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click, I'm gonna get my line tool, get my line tool, I'm gonna click on this point and drag all the way across the opposite side. That is 101.9 centimeters. So the diameter of this large circle is gonna be 101.9. I'm gonna get my circle tool, try and find the center point, which is there. 101.9, 101.9, hang on. There we go, click OK. Okay, if you hold down the shift and option key while clicking in the center, that will appear. So the circle will appear in the center. So try and find the mark up from here and the mark across from here. That's the center of that little semicircle. Hold down the shift and option key and click with your mouse. Ugh. And then, what was it, 103.9, I think? 103.9, doesn't matter how long your dress is, it's completely up to you. Click OK, and there we have our circle. Yeah, it wasn't the right size. Click and drag with the line tool, 101.9, let's do that again. So go to my ellipse tool, find the center, 101.9, 101.9, click OK, and there we have our perfect dress. I'm just gonna simply, my scissor tool, I'm gonna snip and snip, and then get my small selection tool and just select this upper panel and hit backspace a few times on my keyboard. We can now just get rid of these points, so, Selection tool, just click and drag, and then hit backspace a few times. <clears throat> okay, let's also check this uh, this circle here. So if I go, if I get my small selection tool and select this upper panel or this upper line, go to my cut tool, I'm gonna snip, oops, snip at that point and snip at that point. And this is 34.4, which is essentially half of our waist of 68.8. .8. So at this point, we need to make sure that this is mirrored. In other words, this is cut on the fold. This line, this circle is cut on the folds. There are two bits of fabric. So let's go to our text tool. I'm just gonna type in here. This would be side seam and also fold line. Let's just increase that so you can see. So side seam and fold line. I'm also gonna copy and paste that in. Move it over to the opposite side. Let's also get our line tool and click and draw down from that center point. Don't forget, hold down the shift key to lock it to the center or to the vertical make sure it has a line. So if you can't see it, just simply click and drag over that. Small selection tool, click and drag over that. Why is it? Oh, there we go. Just simply select the line and then double click on your line or stroke color, and then just go for black, click OK. And there we have our center front and center back. I'm gonna hit the text key, center front, center back. 
let's move it in. There we go. We can then just group this. And now I'm going to add some seam allowance. So first of all, a small selection tool. I'm going to click on this line here. I'm going to hold down the shift key and click and drag over the bottom line. So we're not actually adding seam allowance to these two lines because these are on the fold. And then I'm going to go object, path, offset. And then here we're going to put 0.7, click OK. And we're just going to get a small section tool, click on this seam allowance here. We've added it to the outside and the inside. We just want it on the outside. So get my scissor tool. I'm just going to snip and snip, small selection tool click and then hit backspace a few times. Same with this one. Select that with the small selection tool, get the scissor tool, snip, snip, small selection tool, click on that line, hit backspace a few times. And we can just simply, so these lines don't quite meet, I'm just gonna get my small selection tool, click on the line to find the points, click and drag, click and drag, click on the line, find the point, click and drag, click and drag. And then let's just small selection tool, let's clean this pattern up. Let's click on this one and the inside lines. Let's make this one point. So our outside line is two, the inside line is one. And let's also add a label. So I'm just gonna get my small section tool, click and drag over this entire label and go edit copy. And let's just go edit paste. Move that onto our full circle skirt. And here we're gonna type in full circle straight address panel. And then we have cut one on fold which is really handy. And that's essentially it when it comes to our patterns. I'm just going to get my big section tool, click and drag over this entire area and go object group. And there's one thing else, if you want to add maybe a slightly thicker or larger hem to this, that's not a problem. At the moment it's not 0.7. You can always just get your small section tool, just select this line, hit backspace, select this line and go object. So small section tool, select that line, go object, path, offset path, and we can make it 1.5 centimeters, for example. Click OK. And then once again, just snip, snip, remove the inside line, click on that line, find the point, drag it out. Click on that line, find the point, and drag that one out. And then small section tool, click on that line, and let's make it two, just so it's the same as the rest of our pattern or outline. And then just go big section tool, click and drag over the whole thing, object, and then it's already grouped, which is great. So that, it's pretty much our pattern finished off. Uh, what we can do also just to really finish this pattern is to obviously add seam allowance to our bodice block as well. So small selection tool, click and drag over the, just the outline of those two patterns. As you can see, we've not joined the hem lines here, which is a problem, or the waistline. So small selection tool, click and drag, right click, join, go to your pathfinder and just unite that just to make sure it's all one block. Click and drag, right click, join, unite. And now we can add some seam allowance. Small section tool, click and drag. As you can see, these are now joined to that line or to that block. Object, path, offset path. Uh, it's gonna be 0.7, click OK. And that's pretty much seam allowance added. Don't forget, let's just get the small section tool. Let's click on these two outlines. So click, hold down the shift key, click to queue up the selection. Go to the line tool and then two points. Also, this is gonna be cut on the fold, so we don't want seam allowance here. So I'm gonna get my small section tool. I'm gonna click on that line and just drag it to the left. Going to do the same, click on this line and drag it to the right. Great, and that's pretty much it. Let's just click and drag, big selection tool, click and drag, and then just hit Control G to group or object and group. Brilliant, and that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, nice and simple. Um, we probably went a little bit quite quickly, but as I said, if you're not familiar with pattern cutting in Adobe Illustrator, then take a look at our courses page on the PatternLab.London website to get a real insight into how to use Adobe Illustrator as a pattern making platform. Okay, <clears throat> don't forget to like us, subscribe, visit our Instagram page, visit Facebook. We have a whole bunch of different social media accounts. Take a look. Subscribing to those will essentially allow you to get updates on all of our new products and also all of our new free pattern making tutorials. So really important to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Cheers.